Good evening, I am Matlati Bambo and welcome to Studio AMM. These are today's top stories. The recent crime wave has Opidans fearing for their safety. Three new residences are under construction. Students ask who is paying. Wi-Fi over land. Rose University is taking sides. Question ra questions raised after Rose crowns Miss Varsity Shield. Increased break-ins have left students feeling vulnerable. Many living off campus have already experienced burglaries. Our reporter Zandi Lechabangani finds out more. On the 24th of February 2017, Sinead Skuman's house was broken into right here on Somerset Street. We investigate further. My gate was open and my door open and everything had been rustled. Um, we just made sure that everything stays locked at all times, even if you are just quickly running out to the car or just, for example, I'm outside the house. So if I go inside the house, I lock my doors, um, even though I'm, two, I'm going two meters away. We do have a panic button on our keys, which is a little bit of uh, consolation. There's always that fear that if we're walking back, and especially this alley, the street that we're on, can get quite dark at times. It is scary. I don't feel very safe walking around in Grahamstown alone. Many Grahamstown residents rely on private security for their protection. We speak to Corne Nord from the High Tech Armed Response Unit. Over the years, laptops have become gold to these guys because they're nice and small, uh, easy to carry, so it's obviously easier to run with. If there's open windows, it, it blows the curtains and and obviously will trigger the alarm. So, yeah, in the last hour now we've had about 20 false alarms. So, it, it does keep us busy, but obviously we try to take every alarm as a positive call. While stopping all crime may be impossible, high-tech security can provide measures to prevent it. Nadine Wilson, another victim of laptop theft, shares her experience with the company. So it either happened exceptionally late at night or very early in the morning. And I don't know, maybe they just got in by the window or the door, but still my laptop and my flash drive. It was the one day that our gate was not working and that was the day that my laptop got so. As soon as it happened, like two days later, they were like, we are going to like boost up your alarm system. But now each person's bedroom has their own alarm. So if you go in away for the weekend, if you just want to lock up your room and be safe, and then you can activate your alarm. I have a laser beam in the corner and a laser beam on my window. So it's very much protected, which it wasn't before. Like if you can get the information relayed quickly, or quick as you can, to the private security or the police on what happened, what's going on, then Generally, success is quite good. Like one guy will be at the house getting information while the other vehicles are trying to scan the area quickly. With students moving into digs and more people owning electronic devices, the need for private security is becoming a necessity. This has been Zandile Shabangani for RUTV. Three new residences are being built on the Rose University campus. Students have raised concerns about where the money is coming from. Rhodes University will soon have three new residences up here. We spoke with the safety officer, Vincent van der Mava, to find out more about the actual construction, which then led us to Dr. Ian Lange, the Director of Infrastructure and Finance at Rhodes University. Tell us if the construction of the, of the actual uh, buildings will be similar to the ones that are already built here in Hilltop. Yes, it is. will be exactly the same, more or less, as the one we have right behind us. Um, and all three will be exactly the same. It's going to be the same, what we call almost Z shape, okay. of all of the existing buildings up the hill. So, Kalata, all of those? All of those. Obviously, there will be minor um, differences. We sat down with David Fryer, a senior lecturer at the Economics Department, so that he could explain the financing involved in new residences. The reses are something at Rhodes that has made a surplus, right? So the reses actually uh, are in the green, they're not in the red. I mean, although, as I said, the fact that the price, there are political problems with putting up the prices now every year could be a problem. Other thing is new reses are much more efficient. Um, so if you look at these old, they're wonderful, you know, like Courtney Latimer, but the cost of the maintenance of those reses with the, you know, they're small, 
uh, is is quite bad. Project budget for the whole completed three residences yes. is 101 million rand. This is earmarked funding. Yeah. Um, it is a it's, it's a national program mm. for developing infrastructure of all campuses. Mm. Even with Dr. Lange's explanation as to how exactly the new residences are being funded, this did not explain the lack of communication conveyed to both student and staff. We, I didn't really know about it. I don't know if other people knew it was happening. Actually, I didn't know like really as to there were new residences being built because this is obviously there hasn't been anything quite official being communicated by the management concerning the like awareness of residences being like built and stuff so I somewhat didn't know until I kind of like find it out like on Facebook. Due to this lack of communication there are students who believe that the money could be used elsewhere. So I'm not sure exactly how to feel about it but I just feel like Yes, some kids will get accommodation, but at the same time, some kids, you know, are excluded because they don't have money to pay for university. Like the money that they're using to build the reses at the round campus, I feel personally that it could be used to, to fund some of the students that have been financially excluded and could not come back and further their education. So we are standing here in between Kalata House and Rosa Parks watching as men work tirelessly to ensure that the buildings are up before the end of the year. A safety officer has confirmed that these buildings should be up before the end of November 2017. I'm Shanara Tiff for RUTV Rhodes University. Installing land in residences is expensive, which is why Rhodes has moved, has decided to move to Wi-Fi only. The fast-paced development of the internet has made Wi-Fi the easiest way to connect and have access. The three new residences that are in the process of being built will not have wide network points installed, but will rather have Wi-Fi coverage throughout the residence and in surrounding areas. Dingamans, Olive Schreiner and Petritiv have already been converted to wireless internet with high traffic areas such as Drosty Lawns, the gym and the library quad having full Wi-Fi coverage. Natalie Ripley, the director of IT services, says that moving from LAN to Wi-Fi is in the best interest of students. Many students question whether the move from LAN to Wi-Fi will be a good idea because of the recent unreliability of the Wi-Fi connection around campus. For more on this developing story, we speak to our reporter in the field, Zandi Lechawangani. Thank you, Matlatsi. I'm currently outside the Rhodes University Library speaking to students about Wi-Fi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. Um, so have you guys ever experienced issues with um, the Wi-Fi, such as it being too slow or anything of that sort? Yeah, um, definitely. Um, since the beginning of this year, the Wi-Fi has been actually extra slow and we've been complaining about it. The, sometimes when it just doesn't work, doesn't connect at all and the, it's troubling because sometimes you need it for important stuff. There have been times as recently as last week where it just randomly cut off in the middle of the night. It's been slow in the times when it just refuses to connect. I've had a couple issues, but nothing too hectic. Okay, and when you have had those issues, what do you do if you have work to do and the Wi-Fi is not working? Most of the time I'm working in red, so I always have the wall connection. Um, I'm lucky that I don't have to rely on Wi-Fi. Um, my first thought would be to cry myself to sleep, but then I end up, like, I try to make my way to the library if I can and do the work. I use my data, unless I don't have data, though, so... So, so I wait for it to work again, I guess. Are you aware that they are phasing out the LAN cables? I was unaware of this. Um, I don't think it's a good move. Like I say, I'm incredibly reliant on my wall cable. This has been Zandile Sabangani reporting live for Studio AMM. After crowning the winner of Miss Varsity Shield, students are starting to question the whole event. Nonshisake Loshange reports. Students are asking questions after Rhodes University crowned Miss Varsity Shield on the 13th of March 2017. The three finalists stepped onto the field to find out that Kinsani Maseko will represent the university at nationals this month. Miss Varsity Shield runs alongside the Varsity Cup rugby tournament. Each contestant promotes herself through Facebook and the contestant with the most number of likes is sent to the top three. Although the winner is meant to be decided by the student body, an unknown panel of judges made the final decision. I was supposed to stand in front of the crowd on the last game and ask the crowd to vote by screaming 
So I put my hand over this contestant, another one, and then I scream. And then the loudest would be the winner. The crowd had their own idea of who they wanted, but the panel who judged the three contestants had a different, like, idea. Bearing from the crowd suggested that the students were not happy with the results. So we should look deeper into that and realise how unhappy the students are and not take it as an attack on one person, maybe just the system itself. The whole idea of all of this is that we choose who we want to represent us, who we think will stand better for the culture we're trying to create. Not only do students feel as though they were unfairly represented, but since voting began, they have questioned the problematic nature of the entire competition. In my opinion, pageants kind of objectify females, women, um, of any kind. And I think they're also very um, binarized in the sense that you have to perform a certain kind of femininity. And then males, or the men, rugby kind of thing, there's this you know, um, emphasis on masculinity. And I think the problem comes in where people don't conform to these, to these ideals or to these standards. Many of the contestants see the pageants as a problematic addition to the rugby, but hope to use their position to transform the structure of Miss Varsity Shield. I think they should be used as a platform to challenge like the norm, for example. So I think pageants have come a long way since where they were before, where normally it was just a contest of how you build, what do you look like. Now you find women that are educated, that are doing good things. So when I decided to enter the pageant, it was more of a challenge to change how the pageant would be viewed and um, set the standard as to how it would go going forward. It shouldn't be a popularity contest as it's currently being made, and there shouldn't be stereotypes, you know? We should push for the curvy girls to come through. It's nonsense that it has to be about, you know, popularity and everything. It, it should be how, how best can you use your talents to make a difference. This is the first year that Rhodes is joining the event. For now, one thing is clear. Ms. Varsity Shield needs to change. This has been Nanshi Shange for Studio AMM, Grahamstown. We had hoped to speak to Kinsani Maseko as the crowned winner of the Ms. Varsity Shield pageant, but unfortunately she declined the invitation to be interviewed in studio. We now go to Tokazani Lala, where he is joined by Mvuisi Sigila. Thank you, Mashati. You are still watching Studio AMM. My name is Tokazani Zaza, and now I'm joined by Rhodes University, uh, rugby club manager Mvuisi Skiller. Thank you very much for coming and welcome to the show, Mr. Skiller. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, sir. Can you take us through the process of how Miss Varsity Shield Cup was organized? Okay, uh, there is a competition, rugby competition that is is running, and uh, that was run. The final is played on Monday, uh, where universities play against one another. And then one of the of of, of the requirements in, to be in that competition, you have to run Miss Vasti Shield, which is organised by by Vasti Cup. So what happens is we invite uh, ladies from the university to to come and enter. Uh, preferably, we're looking for someone who would represent the university. Would be like the face of the university. It must be someone who knows the university, knows about the sports in the university. And of course, also beautiful. So <laughs> how it uh, how it is run is we we get the, the 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 number of ladies, and then they come, and then they we put them up on Facebook. And then uh, we all then Facebook voting happens, and then they also go in in front of the crowds when the game is playing, so that people can see, and then they go and vote on Facebook. And then when we get the final three, and then we have to get a panel. Uh, which was uh, constituted of our director of student affairs, uh, also a manager for student counselling, and uh, manager for sports admin. Uh, those three then had interviews with the th final three ladies, and then the the winner was then decided. Okay, earlier on you've mentioned that uh, Miss Varsity should be also beautiful, and. Uh, the, the concept of beauty, uh, it's quite complex because um, there is an uh, ideal when you look at most pageant on what they are looking for exactly, where you're not uh, transforming 
uh, the pageant of Miss Varsity Shield, looking for something different instead of what is done by other pageant, looking for skinny girls, uh, light skinned, and so on. With 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 with, with uh, Miss Varsity Shield, uh, as I if you if you if you were, were hearing when I was saying beauty, I mentioned it last. Mm. We say we, we say that we're looking for someone who's going to represent mostly what a student at Rhodes is. Mm. So, as much as Beauty is, 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 is as you said, it's, it's quite complex. We, we, it doesn't necessarily have to be a skinny lady, a person or a, the person that you would normally see in the, the models you would see in the magazine. Mm. So it's just someone uh, that students find represents them. You said earlier on, which is a very interesting thing, that uh, you ended up having a panel. Was that an initial plan that at the end, towards the end of the competition, you'll pick the three and have a panel? How did the decision of having a panel came about? It was, it was an initial thing that we had uh, to have a panel. And, 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 and then Vasti Shield also maintained that uh, we, we, we do Facebook voting. But then we, 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 we discuss that with them and then we, fin we finalize by saying that, okay, we'll have a panel. Okay, and then just to, to clarify things, what does the panel do? Because there are three, you mentioned them, who they are. Do they vote when they are there picking one out of the three that were voted by the student? They discuss. They discuss. Yes. But where does the decision to pick only one winner comes from? Because now the vote, you said earlier on, you do not look at them now. They are on equal position. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the guidelines we gave them, we said to them, they, they must sit down and uh, look at the, uh, have interviews. And based on what they get, the feedback that they get from the contestants, and then they can sit, discuss and then come out with who they like uh, who they think is the best person in terms of if, 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 if maybe they could not agree and then maybe they would go to voting. But in essence, uh, at here at Rhodes this year, 2017, the people who picked Miss Varsity Shield, we can say uh, and agree to say it is the panel and not the students. It was the panel, yes. Okay. The final product. Yeah. The final product. Yes. Okay. But again, uh, to those who and uh, who attended um, the games, even the final match where uh, Ken Sanimasego was crowned, uh, observed that the crowd was not on her side. They even booed when uh, she was called to be crowned the winner of Miss Varsity Shield 2017. And earlier on, you said something interesting that Miss Varsity Shield should represent the student body and. It should be someone who represent uh, the whole student of Rhodes University, and by the look of things, she's not uh, the favorite person in the student body. Maybe because of what she posted before or her controversial statement in different platforms. What would be your respond to that? Uh, I, I I am not aware of 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 of, of the. Uh what she has posted before, or and uh, what I would say is, it it is normal for for a person who represents, mm. uh, for example, uh, the, 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 the what uh, the, the students, who what 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 the road student should be. Uh, people can disagree with that. There 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 will always be people who disagree with that, and uh, would not expect that everyone in the university agree with that. Uh, I, I, I am not sure why, they, I, I was, I, I'm aware of what you're saying, that they put, the, the students put here, and I do not, I do not know why. Okay. So but even when, afterwards, we, we even as a department, uh, took the liberty of calling her in and said, are you fine? Uh, because we noticed this happened, and she said, no, I am fine. Because we wanted to at least make sure that she's, she's okay. Was n that not a sign to say we don't want this person? And did even the panel, uh, as the Rhodes uh, Rugby Club manager, uh, you didn't consider that the students are saying no to this person? And even the votes maybe were in contradiction uh, with what the panel came with. As 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 as, as, as we said that uh, yes, voting was there. And 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 and, the and 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 at the end we decided that, but that the the final three would be discussed by the panel, in order for us to determine who the final winner is. And if we got it wrong this time, and then definitely it's a learning curve. So it was our first time, and then 
it is, it gives us something to look at for next year. If maybe next year we need to go and 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 and, and use Facebook voting or having the students decide, then it's another thing. Maybe even on the panel, maybe we should include students mm. this time around in order for us to get the proper the 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 the, 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 the buy-in of everyone in the in the, in, in in the in the competition. Yeah, because that was my next question of uh, uh, would you say having one at least one student or a, quite a number of students uh, will be a good idea but i'm uh, i'm glad you tackled that okay uh, given that we know uh, kensani masego has made it to nationals uh, how can people vote for her maybe and what's your role as the university rugby sport uh, 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 club uh, right now okay uh, you can go to the vasti cup page uh, and you can vote for her there. You can vote. You vote once every 24 hours. She's currently leading uh, the votes, which was quite to our surprise because we are the smallest university in terms of numbers of students. Mm. But uh, in terms of the votes that she has on on on, on Facebook, we uh, she's leading, and it, it is quite uh, exciting for us. Our first time in, in in the competition, and we are leading in terms of the Facebook uh, in terms of the Facebook votes. So it means that she has good chances of winning the competition, which would be a, a bonus, a, a very good thing for us. Okay. Uh, lastly, uh, thank you very much for coming to Studio AMM. I really enjoyed our conversation, thank and you. please next time if we invite you. Um, and make yourself available again. You are watching Studio AMM. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Peace and love, Togozan Jaja. Thank you, Tokozani. In lighter news, the SPCA is looking for volunteers to help animals in their shelter. What's this? What's this? That is all we have for tonight. I'm Matlati Bambo and thank you for watching Studio AMM.